So from the age of nine, I wanted to be a journalist and I tried to get in when I was about 17 and they said, you're too young. So then I tried again the next year and they said, okay. And I started when I was 19. And um, I, I worked as a journalist for about 25 years. So the, the latter end of the anti-apartheid struggle um, and I suppose the highlight really was Nelson Mandela's release from prison and I was lucky enough to be outside the prison on that day and I, it really had got to the point where I dreamt about him and I, I had these dreams and so we on the day they had said to us don't go to the prison the ANC people, UDF, said, don't go to the prison, you won't be allowed. So my office said, why don't you go to a house along the road and, and ask them if you could just hang out there and, and set it all up. So I said, okay, and I went there. And then on the day, I got stopped in a roadblock, staffed by police and an activist. And they said, the policeman said, where are you going? And I said, I'm going to my uncle's farm to visit. And the activist went, she's a journalist. <laughs> the day before, she was, we were on the same side. Anyway, went through. By then, everyone was at the prison. And I had these friends who worked for CBS, and they, had, they got um, an electricity truck in, you know, those cherry pickers. And they were in the cage, and they said, OK, you can, sit, you can be in the main truck to get a, a sight of what's going on, but you better jump very quickly because when we come down, you better not be there. So we waited, waited, and then it was a very, very hot day. And then all of a sudden, sorry. All of a sudden, you saw this, this gray hair, like with a halo behind it, and this fist in the air. And it was him. I couldn't believe it. And then, when, the, the crew came down, I, I almost got hit because I just, <laughs> I just stood there. I couldn't believe it. So, that was like the pinnacle of the, my entire career, really. That he finally came out and you sort of, all that stuff you'd witnessed before about people getting killed and horrible violence, kind of, you know, it all seemed, far away.